the Glen Morangi. This is a 10, isn't it? It's a 10 year old Glen Morangi. 10 years old, yes. Single so, malt scotch. So this is this, this this here. The bottle is not as impressive as any Johnny Walker bottle, is it? No, it's it's a traditional bottle. They've recently changed it. Before Highland that, single malt round. scotch whiskey, the original. That or, I believe all theirs is 10 years. They've got honey and other ones in their collection, oh, but they don't okay. have. They might have one more vintage, but they're not certainly like Johnny or Glen Fittick, where you've got the multiple year difference at where it goes to 12, 15, 18, 21. Yes. So they don't class that on there. It's not part of their collection. Oh, I see. Now, first thing that it's not as strong. It doesn't have a strong essence. No. What do you think? It's the colour's lighter too, Much isn't lighter, it? lighter, isn't Because it? it's 10 years old. It's not old. The oak mm. hasn't come through. Yeah, definitely. Look at the difference between that and the mm. 21. More bite. Strong bite. I have to say to you, to be honest with you, I'm not going to put the Glen Morangi above any of this other stuff. They're different varieties. It's like mm. me saying to you, is the monogram better than the Epi or the Tiger? What fucking what mood are you in? Well, what do you? It's, it's it's not clear cut. This is better or this is shit or this is bad. They're different styles and different varieties, aren't they? What do you think? I think that's probably the best comment. Actually, you know, I, I didn't actually think of that because I was going to say, all right, well, fuck it, let's compare. <laughs> you know what I mean, and everything like that. No, I think that's that's fair. We can certainly compare within the Johnny Walker range and we can certainly compare a single malt against a blend you know what I mean yes. so we could put the Johnny Walker up against Shivers or anything like that that's within the realm but well the time, let's I compare mean, fucking dollars that's, that's what I mean all, that's exactly right we're, we're talking, talking about at, a scotch we've got 60 bucks to spend what do we fucking buy do you buy a double black or do you buy a Glen Morangi that's the question so we're going to try fucking double black next okay what do you spend your 60 bucks on you work fucking hard Let's pull our head out of the ass, yeah. out of our fucking clouds, and say to ourselves, well, fuck, we're working class men. Yeah. We work hard, we get tax debuggery, we get fucking abuse. Fucking a lot of tax, that's. Exactly. And what will we spend our 60 bucks on? Let's fucking stop with these, these fucking trust fund baby scotches we're drinking. They're, they're trust fund baby scotches, you know that? The XR and the blue label, they're trust fund baby. That's for fuckers who have money which isn't theirs, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> they're not, that's not normal people scotch, is it? Well, How many a, friends of yours have XR and blue on the shelf? A friend of mine only drinks blue, but he doesn't drink a shitload of Does it. Does he so share it? Yeah, he shares it. But I mean, he only drinks blue, like that's, that's his drink. But, yeah, but he doesn't marketing. drink often. That's just marketing. He doesn't just, drink just, often, yeah. It's just marketing. That's just marketing. But he marketing. doesn't drink often, though, you know what I mean? So he'll go through a bottle every six months. Oh, fuck. You know, but that's... If we're going to go, oh, fuck, it's Friday night, let's have a cigar and a scotch, well, fuck, we'll go through that in about a night. You Look, know, if you really want that, if you it depends what you're after for. Like, I was reading a... There was a thing I was reading on ABC the other day. There's a lady called... She was the woman who invented the Horny Housewife porno series in Australia, became oh, the yeah. number one seller. I heard about that, yeah. And her husband was Paul Van Dyke, who was very handsome, but he sort of pushed her into this pornography business. <laughs> and they used to do wank and watches. She never worked as a prostitute actually servicing customers, but she'd wank she would wank herself in, for other people to, in, to, to, to interesting so like a peep show effectively yeah but what i'm saying is i was re uh, the, the whole point i mentioned this is because <laughs> i'm drunk and so much <laughs> shit but her husband died of wine enemas so i thought what the fuck is a wine enema you, he realized it's supposed to be taken orally <laughs> <laughs> well apparently if you take it as an enema it's faster absorbing, bigger hit for wine, the alcohol, <laughs> and your liver hasn't diluted it for your effect. Okay. So he died from wine enemas. He does we do realize that. Now the true truth is if you're having wine enemas, you wouldn't have to be using grains, would you? <laughs> You no, could use you hospital have, strength methylated spirits, true. couldn't but you? But you do realize you still have to stick it up your ass fatal problem with this solution to get drunk easily he it was instant 
in America, I've actually had a look at some of the frat houses, you know, some of the frat initialization, like Alpha Delta House. <laughs> You'll stick a syringe of wine up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but appa <laughs> apparently it's a bigger hit. So what are we talking about? Look, the thing is, <laughs> your friend who drinks the blue, that's just advertising. What was that? I kind of see how we got sidetracked. But what do you think of wine enemas? Yeah, I wouldn't be attempting it, I'll give it that, you know. That's... I think it's a bit funny, isn't it? But anyhow. Well, they say coffee is good for cleaning. If you want to clean it, you can use good, strong black The problem coffee. is, you also, if you drink too much wine, you normally vomit. <laughs> uh, so, your body doesn't have any safeguards. If you drink things, it goes into your stomach and it's, it's poisonous. You try and vomit or something, your body tries to get rid of Spell it. Spell it, yeah. Whereas if you've taken it where it's not supposed to go, I think the consequences can be... Where you could shit it out, or in a liquid form. No, you just die of alcohol poisoning, you're dead. Oh, well, but doesn't, you could shit out this wine that you've jammed I up your, I don't up know. Your like, you know well, well, it takes the alcohol out and that's it. Like I've never filter. heard of that. Have you heard of that? Um, no, to be honest. No, I, don't, I don't want to try it either, I'll be honest on that too. Well, see, this scotch we're using, you wouldn't use for that, would you? No, you'd use the cheap fucking... You wouldn't even bother about two years old. You'd just get some cheap fucking, as you said, methylated spirits. You don't want to kill yourself either. But anyhow, what were we saying? The Glen Morangi itself, this is Glen Morangi we're drinking. <laughs> yes. what, so why don't you give this out of 10? Alright. Okay. For $60. Well, that, for $60. It's half the price, remember. It's half the price. I've got to give it a 7. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. I'll give it a 7. 7? I totally agree on that. That's exactly, I would say it's, there's still some room to go, but it's, I certainly wouldn't go anything below a 7. It's a fucking nice scotch. Seven. Okay, Seven. there we go for the Glen Morangi.